All right. We are continue to the thing there. The C-Sec Maths paper for May 2021. We reach part C of question one. Why it say no? Let me see if we can get a little bigger. Ah, nice. It say in 1965, the population of country A was 2,714,000. In 2015, the population was 3,663,900. Part 1A. Write the population in 2015. Correct the three significant figures. Write them at me see. At least, I can go see what you will see. Write it. And then, me go and write it and you tell me if I the same thing, if you agree. So, the three significant figure. We have to remember now. Is that when you write significant figure? You have to look from left to right. And then the first digit where you see, one or zero. First digit where you book up on. That are the first significant figure. So you see, if you write zero 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 five. Might as well you just write 5 and done. Right? Because them is 0, you can't get rid of them. They're not significant. So when you look from left to right, you see 0, that's not significant. 0, that's not significant. 0, that's not significant. 5 are the first significant figure. You see? Significant meaning you have value, you know? If you say 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, this is quite significant, you know? Because you can't just write 5. Right? You can't tell me, say you owe me $50 and then you give me $5. This is significant. You have to put your hand. But the first non zero digit, you see, are the first significant figure. So, we see how this thing is going on. Alright. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know. Three significant figure. 2015 figure. Now, you see. The three six six three nine zero. When you go, when you look with your eye, you say your eye, and you look from left to right. This are the first significant figure. Nice. This are the second significant figure. Very good. This are the third significant figure. So you have three significant figures so far. <coughs> You have 3, 6, 6. But you can go write down 3, 6, 6 and say 366 people if I place, you know. Can't do that. You have to say no. You see the number will come after this 6, yeah? You look upon it. If I have 5 or more, you go and go back and jack up this a 6 by 1 and add 1 to it. But if I less than 5, if the next number is less than 5, you keep the 6. Well, 3 less than 5, so you keep the 6. But you're going to have to do now. You're going to have to replace these with zeros. Because you need to maintain the size of the number. Right? Oh, a 2 zero if you come here, so. 9, zero, zero. All right. So this, you replace with it as 0. The 9, you replace with it as 0. The 0, as 0, same way. And this, as 0, same way. So what happened? You're going to say, a 3 million 666,000 people live in a place. 3.66 million people. Right? So, this is the number to three significant figures. You have the three significant figures there, myself. Three significant figures. But you have to fill in the zeros to maintain the size of a number. Right? You see me? Now the next thing, write the population in 1965 in standard form. Alright, that a population there are 2,714,000. Well, you're going to write it in a standard form. Now, you have to remember when you write in a standard form, you have the first non zero digit at 2, then the point. I have the next digit them 714. You see it? Standard form. But 2.714 I know the same thing as 2,714,000. You know? 
You're going to have to do something. Where you going to have to multiply this by? If you get 2,714,000. You're going to have to multiply it by 1 million. But, I know, so you're right, standard farm. You see this 1 million business, yeah? You're going to have to do a little thing, yeah? You're going to have to write it as 10 to a power. No, 1 million. 1 million. Are the same as 10 raised to a power. Okay. You have to remember, say, 10 are the same as 10 to the power of 1. You have to remember your indices. 100 are the same as 10 to the power of 2, and so on and so forth. One quick way to say the power is to count too much zero in it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0. So what that means is that 1 million are the same as 10 to the power of 6. So the answer you have to have is 2.714 by 10 to the 6. Right? So that is the right answer. Now, we're going to see the next part of the question and how it go. But you have to make sure you remember how to do these things, you know. How to write in a standard form and significant figure and all of them, same thing there. You have to go remember them. Alright, so, time ago, so we'll make case and see the next part of the question. Determine the percent increase in the population from 1965 to, two, to 2015. I want to pause the video and do that part there. Alright, make sure you pause it. Right? And I can tell me no like say you pause it and try it. And you not try it. Now, 2, 7, 14 thousand. Alright. So, 2 million, 7, 14 thousand. And the next part I want now. The next one is uh, 3663 900. So, the next population is uh, 3663 900. And they say determine the percent increase. Alright. Now, we're going to do a little thing before we do the calculation. Suppose and say, Suppose you did have a population of 10 and it increased by 10%. How much you would have got to? Alright, well on there. 100. 100. Increase by 10%. How much you would have got to? 10% to 100 are 10. So you'd have got, if you go increase by 10%, you would have got to 110. Or you calculate that. If them say a 100 first and then you go 110. Or you calculate the increase. You have to say the second, the big number, second number, minus the first over. You have to make sure you don't make no mistake. You know. Over what? Is it over the 100 or over the 110? We try a thing. If you put this over 110, what going to happen? Remember, so you're supposed to get 10%, you know. What going to happen? You're going to say 10 over 110. How much? If we draw a calculator and say 10 over 110, give you how much? Right? I have to make sure 10 over 110. A 0.09 and 9%. And 9% that you know. And now the last number if you put it over. And the first number. You see? So that we teach you say. You go and put it over the first. Not the second. So. 
a 100 you go and put this over so a 10 over 100 give you 10 percent and you're right now so remember say you go and be the first no the second number minus the first number over the first number just like when you have selling price and cost price remember the profit are selling price minus cost price over cost price cost price are the first price for you did pay all right so this going to be the second number the big number three six six three nine hundred Minus the first number two seven fourteen thousand over the first number two seven fourteen thousand and you do your calculation all right so make you just in case and deal with it with the calculator uh, now you have three six six three nine hundred minus Two million seven hundred and fourteen thousand give you that over two million seven hundred and fourteen thousand point three five. So you have zero point three five. So what a percent point three five times one hundred give you thirty five percent. Aye. No, 35% of the answer there. So, big up all of you. Try it. Whether you get it right or not. Right? Uh, if you say someone already tell me, like, say, you know, did try, you know. I will never try it. You must learn. Learn to talk, tell, like. Try the thing when I tell you, you know, if you try it. Pause the video and try it. You have to try a thing. Right? Now, we see how the next part go. Part D. Oh, this is the last part of the question now. Uh, let me see now. Let me see. Alright, let me rub out this. I'm supposed to write it already. If you don't want to write it off. The ratio of teachers are ratio and proportion, you know. Let me go up some more with this thing. Here. It says the ratio of teachers to male students female students in a school is 3 to 17 to 18 if the total number of students in the school is 630 determining number of teachers in the school now what I'm going to do you see is copy this and put it over the next board the next screen why I'm put it over here so uh, get all the past piece and so on if you work with over here so you see so let me just keep this up here so and keep my website let me copy it erase the board one big erase and put back on my one good now i'm going to come back over here so and copy this and then paste it over here so paste nice 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 all right people and so I'll go along as no. No, the thing is, I'm say yes so three to seventeen to eighteen and is teacher. So they may a teacher. To male student, male student to female student. If the total number of students is 630, male student and female student, all of them, all of them add up to 630. Determine how much teacher did it. Pause the video and do that one. Alright, you pause it and do it. Make sure you know. Right? So, just write down how much you get. I know how much you get for the answer. Let me see how this thing goes. Now, the thing is, one thing you can do, I say, 
Just simplify it right down. Teacher to student. Since them had put, they say number of students. Up here, so them divide it in a male student and female student. But up here, so then say number of students. So number of students and number of teachers. So we want teacher to student. All right. The ratio now, say three teacher. How much students we have in terms of the ratio? 17 and 18. 17 and 18 add up to what? 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 8 and 7. That are 15, 15, carry 1, 1 and 1, 2 and 1, 3. All right. A 3 to 35, you see? 3 teacher to every 35 students. You can't see that. No. They modify that, that. Just a jump on the screen. I mean, rub them out. All right, good. <coughs> Three teacher to 35 students. And you have 630 students. Now what you're going to do is this. If you have 630 students. And you say. Teacher a three part. Student a 35 part. Just find the size of each part. So. Student. You have 35 parts. What are you going to do? Cut up. Cut 630 into 35 parts. You're going to cut up 630 into 35 parts. Now, you're going to find size of each part you're going to find the size of each part and then when you find the size of each part multiply one part by three and you get too much teacher this one going to give you the teacher you see all right, that's the strategy, strategy, right? Yes, sir. So, six hundred and thirty students. Cut it up in a thirty-five, because we're going to see thirty-five parts. How much student in a each part? All right, that give you how much people in a one part, and then multiply that a part by three, and you get too much teeth teachers so let's we we see how that go if you now have this 630 students and how much are the ratio 35 parts no 630 over 35 how much 630 over 35 equal 18 so that equal 18 so that at 18 students in each part of the ratio you see you don't come in like so you have one long line and you say 630 what are 35 parts the line has 630 long 35 parts right so you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 21 22 23 24 35 all right the line done yes 35 and then you say everything has 630 so, 630 are the length of the line. And you say, alright, write us on now. I want to know how much are each. Because each part, yes, so. How much in each part? You know, say the teacher them, take up three parts. One, two, three. Three parts, yes, so. All of them are teachers. 
So if you know how much in each part, just multiply by a tree. Three of them give you how much each up. So you find out a while ago. Right? 18. You find out since the while say 18 students in each part. So three of the part them. Figure how much teacher. Would that be 18 times 3? So 18 by 3 hour. 3 is 24. Bring down the 4. Carry 2. 3 is 24. Bring down 4. Carry 2. 3, 1, 3, 1, 4, 5. 54 teacher. You see? So 18 times 3 gives you 54 teachers. You see what I'm saying? I remember saying now. Them say 630 students. <coughs> right? No. Just deal with it as teacher to student. How much number of teachers? So, you see the three part? All of them are teachers. But the teacher, they must marry. All of the 35 are students, but the students are smarty too. So you're going to say, you have 630 smarty or so. And you divide them in a group of 35. How much are them in a each group, in a each part? When you divide 630 by 35, you get 18 smarty in a each part, in a each of the 35 part. So if I 18 of them in each of the 35 part, and you have three, yes sir, 18 in a each group, in a each part, and the teacher they make up three part, then it must be 18 by 3. You see? So I may I say yes sir. So 18 by 3, 50. 54 teacher in this thing. Yeah. Hope you get it, you know. But if you're not getting it, make a comment, let me know. And we deal with it. Deal with the meds. Further than this. So, hope your maths it out. If you never get it right, try it again, but nobody look back upon the solution. Right? You can shake your hand and do it. Or nobody shake your hand and do it. Just Turn away from the computer screen or your phone screen or tablet screen or whatever you use screen. And do it again. And try to get it right. Alright, so. Right, I saw. So. At the end. Oh, hold on. At the end of question one. Next time we do question two, so. We'll see you when the time comes.